Hey everybody, this is Chris. Welcome back to part three of the create a login and registration page using Laravel and Bootstrap. Uh, if you're just joining us from part two, we have a couple of errors to fix that I made that I didn't realize until I started doing this one. In the the, out, the uh, hyperlink here, this tag, we need to put in a class of close and here in the for each all so sorry for those mistakes I didn't realize I made them until after the video part two was created so if we just fixed those two we're good to go so I've made the corrections and we're good to go and right, next I've, I've gone ahead and made a users folder inside my views folder so if you want to go ahead and create a user folder, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to go ahead and immediately save it as index.blade.php. And all right. This index page is going to be actually the, the login page, sign in page, or however you want to say it. So we'll get started ready to code or get started coding. We target the master page in the content section. So section content. Go ahead and end the section also. And I'm switching to PHP mode here. And we'll still go ahead and start. So I'm going to start off with our div of row, class row. And that's going to include a div with a class of span 4. That div will also have a class of offset 4. Inside that div, we'll have a div with a class of well. If I can spell right. And inside that, we'll have a legend. I think this will work. So, yes, here we go. Inside our legend, we're just going to say please sign in. And we'll get started with our form. For this, I'm going to go ahead and switch back into Blade. First thing with our form, I'm going to tell it to form open. And we're going to post it to the login route. Other than that, unless you're making a class, there's nothing else you need to do with the form open. Um, well, here we're going to go ahead and close the form. And that gets out of the way. Gets that out of the way. Okay. Our first field, or input field, is going to be a form with a type of text. And it's going to be the email. Second parameter of this is going to be null because it's going to expect a value and if you omit it it will throw an error. Okay next we're going to throw an array so we're going to use some classes our first cl our class actually our class is going to be span 3 and we're going to have a placeholder so we're just going to include the HTML5 base placeholder and the placeholder is going to have a value of email Hey, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and set this route up because sometimes if you make an error here, Laravel is not very good at all at telling you what your error is. I mean, it'll throw you into the actual API itself, and then you still have to figure out what the error is. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a route and check, just so I can check. So inside my route, I'm going to have a route get, have it log in. This time I'm going to go ahead and have create a. No, we'll just keep it simple for right now. We'll create the controllers later. So I'm going to function get. Uh, I've got to throw a title in. So let's give it a title of login. We're going to turn the view. The view is going to be user.index. 
pass in the variable with title tile finish there go there save that and go ahead with refresh and line 10 Let's see where I messed this up at spell function wrong near my fat fingers so if you click login method test does not exist so I must have spelt text as test there I did so form text save that refresh and here's our form here's our first field so we've got that out of the way let's go ahead and finish this form next form field is going to be a password field and it's just going to have the value meaning the field name is password and this doesn't have any values so we're just going to go ahead and give it an array with class of span 3 and placeholder will be equal to password okay, moving on we're going to have, go ahead and throw in our submit button to submit our form its value is going to be sign in and it's going to have a class so we're going to have an array class these are just bootstrap classes so and its class can be button and button type is going to be button success okay next step we'll give it the user a way to go ahead and register so we're going to user not form but it's going to be an HTML link link it's going to link to the register route and the value of the link what the link is actually going to say is register we're also going to give it a class so array class equals button button primary Okay, that's it for this. So we'll go ahead and refresh our view, make sure there's no errors, and there we go. So there's our sign in page, sign in, register, and we're done with that. Next, we'll go ahead and get ready for the next video. We have, I have 10 minutes left. I might try to go ahead and squeeze this video in. Uh, go ahead and go into the routes. We're going to route get register function it's not spelled it right this time Functions going to be title it's going to be register uh, it's going to be return view make and it's going to be user dot register. We haven't created the view yet, but we will in a few minutes. So there, return view make register, and we have to pass in the title. So let's go ahead and do that. Pass with title title. Okay, that's done. So we'll, in this video, we went ahead and we created the login page. So we have the login. And we created the route for the register page, which we will do in the next video. So, like I said, share it, subscribe, click the ads to keep us running, and I'll see you in part four.